Hi, this is Bush Lee here, and welcome back to another unboxing review. Today, I am doing this, the Daleks in colour. And I first of all have to apologise, because this is a little bit late. Uh, normally, I'm quite um, snappy with these things. But, um, yeah, this one is two weeks late, so it's, at least it's two weeks after the release date, but that's fine. Anyway, um... Let's have a look at this. So, on an alien world, the Doctor encounters the Daleks for the very first time in this newly colorized edit of a classic adventure. Includes um, bonus featurettes and the Daleks' original black and white episodes, which is nice. I like that they included the originals. Um, let's crack this open and see where we are at. Hang on. Okay, and this is this without the cellophane, and, well, it looks good, actually, it looks really good. Um, let's take the sleeve off, the J card. Uh, please, of course, please pause if you want to read any of this information, that's how it's already read out. And let's take a look at this, and this is really nice, I like the Dalek on the front, and uh, we've got a picture of the TARDIS team on the back at the time and oh, cracking this open you can see it like that as well and it is really nice in all fairness um let's have a look at these now so we've got this uh more exciting products from doctor who and it looks as if it's just the sort of standard stuff so we've got a big a little bit of big finish some of the some novels uh audiobook and audio exclusive adventures, uh, vinyls, um, the novelization of the Church on Ruby Rose. I haven't bought that yet, and I'm sort of waiting for it to come out in paperback. Um, but yeah, I haven't got it yet. Um, Dalek Awakens. I sort of want to do that. In all fairness, the uh, live escape room in the, um, it's just off, off um, Oxford Street, I think. Anyway, in London. Um, and uh, these uh, books as well Doxy Magazine and Forbidden Planet exclusives, um, showcasing the TARDIS paintings, which are actually quite nice, except the price. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, um, let's have a look at these discs then. So, we've got the Daleks in color, it's also got um, the making of the Daleks in color, that's nice. And disc two has uh, the Daleks. And audio commentaries. Now, and there's the um, the insides. It's just um, um, basically the background of the outs outside almost. But yeah, there's nothing bad about that. So I like, quite like the swirls. Uh, now I should explain why this is so late, um, and it's because I watched this late as well. Um, I'm not that big a fan of the colorization process, um, mainly because um, sometimes the colors can be inaccurate. So I think, it, for example, in this, um, Barbara's blouse, shirt, whatever, is pink. Uh, I think in the in, in real life it was like a sort of cream color. Um, but yeah, that's that that's a fine if they want to add an uh, an extra extra splash of colour, but I'm more of a tra traditionalist, and I'd like to see things the way they were made. However, this is actually quite a good edit. Um, they prized um, uh, uh, oh, David Graham out of retirement, and they also got Nick Briggs in to do some extra Zonic voices, just to abridge it a little bit, which is fine. Um, so, um, it's, it's sort of bringing us more up to date. So rather than seven 25-minute episodes, it's one hour and a half episodes, if that. Um, so they cut their own time in half, basically. But they have got the whole, the original here as well. Um, I've heard that the original isn't upscaled on this one. Um, but, yeah, um, that's fine, so long as, but yeah, it would have been, really, well, yeah, sorry, I've lost my train of thoughts. It would have been nice if it has been upscaled, but, um, yeah, um, this, this really didn't excite me as some of the others do, unfortunately, but, um, I know it has excited some people, so, yeah, there you go. 
Um, that's really nice. Um, but yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't really say that much more about this, but I do like the Daleks. It's, although it's not my favourite Dalek story, um, but yeah, I thought I'd just be a completionist and just have this. And now you've seen the unboxing review, and thank you very much for watching and bearing with me. Um, I shall see you again next week for a really exciting um, release. And um, then after that, who knows, the world is my oyster. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos and like the video if you have actually liked it. Anyway, thank you very much and I shall see you then.